The following video is a recap of Oshawa Community Day. And welcome to Lewis's Adventures Plays Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. In this video, I'll be covering Oshawa Community Day in Pokemon Go and hopefully catch as many shinies as I can catch. For this video, I had to use my mother's iPhone as something is wrong with the memory card on the camera I usually use while filming. And of course, as you'll see in this video, the current iPhone I have, my iPhone 11, is cracked because I recently cracked it due to an accident. I'm in the process of getting a replacement. So, in the meantime, any footage that you see from me will be shot using a combination of my phone, which I'm still able to do screen captures with, and my mother's for, 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 for me in action. Anyways, the Oshawa Community Day Special Research Task are part of the special research known as from scallop chops to scimitars, and they have four steps. The three tasks for step one are power up a Pokemon 10 times with the reward of 15 Pokeballs, catch 15 Oshawott with the reward of an Oshawott encounter, make Five nice throws with the reward of 20 Oshawa candies. And the rewards for completing this step were 2,000 Stardust, one Oshawa encounter, and a Rainy Lore. Step two had you catching 15 Oshawa with the reward of 30 Oshawa candies, transfer 10 Pokemon the reward of a Duwat encounter, evolve three Oshawott with the reward of ten Pineapple Berries, and the rewards for this step were 1,500 XP, an Oshawott encounter, one incense. For step three, make three great curve ball throws with the reward of 50 Oshawott candies, Evolve a Duwat with the reward of one star piece. Transfer 10 Pokemon with the re reward of 15 Great Balls. And the rewards for this step were 2,500 XP, one Rocket Radar, and 15 Ultra Balls. And for the final step, you automatically claim these following rewards. Two Silver Pineapple Berries, 
an Oshawa encounter and 3,500 XP and the rewards for completing this step were 3,000 Stardust, a Samurai encounter, and two rare candies. And of course, not long after I started filming, I ended up catching my first shiny. And of course, at the end of this video, you will see what my final shiny count will be. Well, I did spectacular today during this Oshawa Community Day, and my final shiny count is 20, 20 shiny Oshawa. Not bad. It was definitely not perfect, but not bad. And of course, while I was live streaming on Twitch, one fled for me, unfortunately. I would have had 21 if it wasn't for that one shiny fleeing from me, but I'm happy with what I got. And of course, stay tuned for the next Community Day in the month of October for Duskull Community Day. In the meantime, this is Lewis saying, thanks for watching everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times, we're heading out, wear a mask in public indoor settings, practice social distancing, carry hand sanitizer with you, wash your hands, and most importantly, get vaccinated. And lastly, stay safe, stay healthy, and together, we are finally getting through these dark times together, but we're not out of the woods just yet.